Hey everybody, Jeff Archman here. Well, we are now on to episode 8 for Flint the Time Detective. Let's dive right on in and see when and where we are ending up today. Back from prehistoric times, here's Flint! Hoomba, hoomba, hoomba! Hoomba, hoomba, hoomba! Hoomdaka, hindaka, hoomdaka, hindaka! Humba, humba, humba. Humba, humba, humba. Crossing the time barrier to save the world. Humdaga, himdaga, humdaga, himdaga. Defending justice through time and space. Let's the time detective. Humdaga. Links. Hmm, the jungle or a desert? We're statues representing deities. The great sphinx in Egypt has the body of the lion ah. and the head of a pharaoh, dating from before 2500 BC. That's good for now. I'm glad Uncle Bernie lets me work here. It's so quiet. Hey, Sarah, is your homework done yet? Print me a copy and I'll give you a couple bucks. Ha! Deal. That's cheating and you know it. Huh? Uh, what do you mean? I thought we were a team. We may be a team, but that means you're supposed to do some work, too. I'm doing the best I can. Besides, you're always hogging the computer. Give me a break. You'll never be a time detective without me. Don't be so sure about that. Oh, boy. Attention, Dr. Goodman. Please respond now. The time police are requesting that Flint be dispatched immediately. You must have some time for a break, Miss Gray. How about having coffee with me somewhere? All booked up. Now find Detective Flint, please. You do play wow. hard to get, but that's part of your charm. Am I going somewhere? How about tea? Just give it up. Here's what we found out so far. <laughs> Our sources tell us that Time Shifter Lynx has been located in ancient Egypt. Lynx is a master. Aww. Be careful. They'll try to trick you. I'm real good at that stuff. Don't worry. You may be good at riddles, but he's an expert, so watch out. I'm sending you your time card now. Let's do this. That is too adorable, though, that Lynx. Let's have some fun. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Reading time card. Coordinates set for 323 BC, ancient Egypt. All systems go! Time cycle is ready for launch! Alright, time cycle, let's go! Something's awfully weird. I bet it has to do with Petra and those half-witted helpers of hers. Well, we better find out before it's too late. She might be at the Sphinx. Let's race. Come on, guys. Hey, Sarah, we didn't say go yet. I can't help it if you're always behind. You were born that way. Only Oof. by here in 27 seconds. <laughs> oh, dear. Superb. This makes me feel just like Cleopatra. Of course, I'm more beautiful than that hag ever was, right, boys? Oh, dear. Oh, yeah, boss. No doubt about it. Are you kidding me? Cleo was a real looker. Oh. oh. This queen business is going to be fabulous. I will have scads of handsome servants fanning me all day. After they've finished fanning me, I'm going to have them feed me grapes, paint my toenails, and even brush my teeth. Okay. <laughs> my lady. I was still in fantasy my land. Lady has nothing on you. I just had to see you in all of your splendor, my beautiful queen of the Nile. Yeah, we're still in fantasy mode. Uh -huh. I must be dreaming well, Cleopatra. Eat your heart up because I'm carving my face in a pyramid. No way, Petra! Huh? She's trying to suggest that Cleopatra is the one that's a sphinx. Well, well. If it isn't that annoying cave rat and his equally annoying friends trying to spoil my fun again. 
again. Ha. Huh. But you're not going to make a fool out of me this time. Go get him, Lynx. Oh. <laughs> Here's a riddle. Ooh. Tell me the answer to this. What is everybody in the world doing at the very same moment? Oh. Breathing. Um, let's see. How about a little hint? Is it something good to munch on? I hope it is. Do you want me to tell you the answer? Yeah. Everybody's getting older at the same time. Ah, cute. Watch out, Flint. Yeah. Hello. He must be under a spell. What do we do? Wow, I'm your slave boy. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to try to answer another question? Ask Terry. Maybe later. Retreat! Retreat! Uh, thought you said you're good at these riddles. We get you as soon as we can. <laughs> Look at them, they're petrified. Those delinquents are helpless without Flint. I'm at your service, Petra. Uh -huh. You better believe that's music to my ears. You're pretty muscular for such a little punk. How about it, boys? Should we give him a run for his money? You have to be extremely careful. If you can't answer Lynx's questions, you'll end up just like Flynn. Miss Gray sure wasn't kidding. Well, I knew about that all along. Oh, come on. You didn't know any more than all the rest of us. Uh, I did too. Did not. All right, you two. Time out. Huh? Leave the fighting to cats and dogs. Our main objective is to <laughs> rescue Flynn. He's right. Hmm. Patrick could have him in the deepest dungeon for all we know. Don't think so. He's an idiot, remember? How about some idiot? Oh boy. Don't you come near me, you stone headed troglodyte! From now on, you're only moving furniture! Anything you want, I'll move the bed, okay? Flint doesn't seem to be anywhere around here. Wait, I see him! Huh? See him over there? Let's go! Mm hmm. Mm. Flint, it's us. Are you okay? Did Petra hurt you? Who are you? Looks like he's still under Petra's control. Come on, Flint. We're your friends. He's leaving us. Huh? Yep. Sounds about hey, right. Hey, it's us. Uh, oh, oh. Oof. Just take it easy. Oh. Flint, stop doing this. Uh. Huh? Oh, no. Flint, stop gnawing on my arm. Lunch? Stop it! Oh no! Petra's turned him into a monster! He doesn't even remember that we're friends! Snap out of it already! Her arm is squeaking! Oh god, here comes Dad Love! What he needed was some prehistoric discipline! Shh, huh. Please wake up, Flint! Are you alright? This looks like a nice place for a nap. Huh? I could sure use a few C's. Hey! Huh? Look who's here! They found us! All you punks are finished! You're gonna be Petra followers! Get him, Lynx! Oh, oh. Oh, it's that riddle guy! Huh? Oh boy, here's one! And I'm making to tell you what it's all about! Please uh, don't! What can you catch but can't throw? A cold! Hmm. Okay, give up? Are you two all ready to pull the plug? Wait a minute! How's this? The answer's a cold! <laughs> yeah, we hurry! You are pretty smart! Hmm. I bet you can't answer this riddle. I run and yet I have no legs, so what could I be? The nose. You have no legs? Hmm. 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 Huh? Oh, I believe that you're a nose. Hooey, howie, howie. You're the cat's meow. Oh, no. I hope he's not all pooped out. Boy, you put him in his place, Sarah. If you keep it up, you might be able to beat him. Keep going. Come on. What reflects like a mirror but never shows itself? Nobody ever guesses that. Gotcha. Wow, Sarah, that's a tough one. I'm glad I'm mm. not alone. Do you give up, huh? Do you give up? You better hurry. Time what reflects like a mirror but isn't shown? Oh. 
All my brain is coming up with is a big blank. How about you? I know you can bail us out. I need some time to think. I'm still trying to figure it out. You better think of something fast. Only 30 seconds left. This is awful. We're going to be doomed if we don't answer the question before the time is up. What else could reflect like a mirror? Personality? It's that weird guy again. Hmm. What's he doing? Mm. Charades. Hello. Yodeling? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh. Now he's doing it all over again. Wait, could he Hello. be listening to himself? Wow, could it be? Yeah, that's it! The answer to the riddle is an echo! Do we have we hi? Huh. You're pretty amazing! I couldn't have done it without that caped guy. Where'd he go? Beats me, but at least you got it right. He must be in that tent somewhere. I think he always saves us and runs. My motto is always keep them in suspense. <laughs> Who are you? Hides if we don't do something fast. Yeah, how come you dropped the ball, Lynx? Don't you have any harder riddles? It's our turn now. Get ready. Are you all set? No way. We're in big trouble if you mock this. Step aside, little brother. Now solve this problem. What walks on four legs in the morning? Ah, this time, the old riddle. And only three legs in the evening. So, what is it? Uh, take it, Mike. I'm thinking, hold on. How about a table? I think that could be the answer. Yeah, but I don't think tables walk too much. You mean a cow? Well, how about a pony? Well, that's a problem because they don't walk on two legs very well. Hey, I got it. A chip. Well, you're pretty smart. You know that, Mike, man? A chip is what it has to be. Yep, there's no doubt about it. Hey, what about the third leg? Hmm, forget the chip. Time's <laughs> up. <laughs> well, do you give up? Do we? Don't look at me. I'm stupefied. The correct answer is man. Man? The morning is when man is a baby and he crawls on four legs. The afternoon is when man is an adult and can stand on two legs. The evening is when man is old and his cane acts as his third leg. How about that? You're too good. Ooh. What? <laughs> Not too bad. Where did you come up with that riddle? It's from a book I read about ancient Egypt. The Sphinx would ask it of travelers. They had to pass the test in order to get by. Do your homework like you're supposed to, and you could be as smart as your sister. <laughs> Ow. Oh, you're up. A bump. Let's blow this pop stand before we get in trouble. You make a good point. You're already in trouble, mate. Uh, hey, come back here. Uh, you can't escape from me because I'll flip the time detected. <laughs> I'm waiting. Feel your own grave. <laughs> Let's no! go. Hey, you guys, what's the matter with you? Hey, come back. I'm your queen. You can't just dump me like a sack of flour. I won't put up with it. I need someone to fan me. Oh, you can't find good help anywhere. <laughs> this isn't fair. I'm supposed to be the queen. Petrofina! We've got trouble! Why am I surrounded by these twirls? <laughs> Wait, woke we'll up! Dad! I'm taking you in! <sighs> it's not easy being perfect. You have to put up with everybody else. <laughs> Go get him! Make Queen happy! Make Queen happy. <laughs> oh, this should be good. Whoa! Mama by the brat! Hello! Ooh. Well, that's certainly a unique design. What? We gotta help him. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe we'll find him in a museum someday. How mean! Don't worry, you guys. Huh? We'll beat him. Watch. We have something better. Oh. Don't stand here looking goofy. How about giving me a little help, you two? No problem. Get ready. All right, who's this? Ah! I'm back. It's your turn, Bubblegum. Go get him. <laughs> Way to go. We'll get flipped back for sure. Wow. 
<laughs> yeah, that should work. Wow. Hmm. Gotta love the design of these evolutions. Or is it batter, batter? Which one's more appropriate? Hey, Links, are you gonna be okay? Mm. You're all right. I'm really glad. Mm -hmm. Hey, we could be pals, don't you think? Well, we missed you. <laughs> Slide smoother, you're making me dizzy. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> Relationship between Lynxcon and Flint. Uh, yeah. I want to know myself. <laughs> you give up? Well then, the answer is that you're friends. Wow, how come Terry's so smart? I'd love to be friends with you, Lynxcon. Let's fix them! Then will be back to his old sweet self again. It's been a while since they actually had that thing do that. Whoa. Last of the time it's just been a case that it just sort itself out. Yeah. But if you hadn't been so incredibly awesome answering all those riddles, I bet we'd be in really big trouble. <laughs> you forgive me for being such a smarty pants? Yeah. I'll help you anytime, Tony. What's with the background? Well, how about when I'm busy doing something else and I don't have enough time to finish my homework? Would you help me then, Sarah? Hmm. No way, goofball. You huh? have to do your homework all by yourself. Yeah, but I helped you out. Come on. Doesn't that at least count for something? There's a big difference, Pea Brain. Uh-uh. Hmm. Well, huh. hey, wait well, a minute. Uh, I want everybody to be happy. Uh, and you guys are <laughs> twins. You should be doubly happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Weird. I'm glad the 
those two youngsters have decided to get along. The world's a much more agreeable place when people like each other. I should go back to Egypt sometime. Those pyramids are amazing, and I just love riddles. This one's my favorite. What did the beach say when the tide came in? Long time no see. <laughs> oh. That's not a riddle, that's a joke. That's a word pun joke. Anyway, that was episode 8 of Flint the Time Detective. Ugh, we're back to ancient Egypt. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Well. Oh, sorry, there was a bunch of mummies going around and, well, <clears throat> mummies tend to put people to sleep. Anyway. See you guys next time. Jeff Archfiend, out.